University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Three places taken, five still to fill in the quarterfinal stage of this competition as we play another second round match. It's do or die at this stage. Winners go through, losers go home. Now, the team from Southampton University lost by 135 points to the 165 scored by St. Catherine's College Cambridge in round one, but then redeemed themselves in the losers' playoffs with 235 against Queen Mary London's 120. As well as being fast on the buzzer, they were strong on 19th century legislation, the names of islands and historical climatology. Let's see if they can get themselves into the quarterfinals as we meet them for the third time. Hello, I'm Will Cable, I'm from Swindon, and I'm studying for a Masters in History. Hi, I'm Sarah Stock, I'm originally from Cardiff, and I'm studying in Chemistry. And their captain? Hello, I'm Trisha Goggin, I'm originally from New Ross in Ireland, and I'm doing a PhD in Biomedical Engineering. Hi, I'm Roland Sadler, I'm from London, and I'm doing Biology. The team from Liverpool University had a very convincing win over St Peter's College Oxford in the first round with 205 points to 130 at the gong. What they didn't know about subatomic physics, which was anything at all, they made up for with much more useful information about Wagner's Tannhauser, Anthony van Dyck's beard and Dr Strangelove's neurological disorder. For such a young team with an average age of 20, they're also surprisingly good on things long dead, from extinct birds to fossil hominids. Let's meet the Liverpool team again. Hi, I'm Jenny McLaughlin. I'm from Leeds and I'm studying Biological and Medical Sciences. Hi, I'm Jack Bennett. I'm from Lancaster and I'm studying Law. And their captain? Hi, I'm Robin Wainwright. I'm from the Wirral and I'm studying Biological Sciences. Hi, I'm Ed Bretherton. I'm from Bampton in Devon and I'm studying Medicine. Well, let's just get on with it, shall we? Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first start of a ten. It's not worth doing something unless someone somewhere would much rather you weren't doing it. These words are generally attributed to which writer who died in March 2015? Southampton Sadler. Terry Pratchett. Correct. OK, you get the first set of bonuses, then Southampton. They're on names and places. In each case, give the word from the definition. All three begin with the same three letters. Firstly, the English name of the mountain on the borders of Turkey, Iran and Armenia, where Noah's Ark is said to have come to rest after the flood. Ararat. Correct. Secondly, an indigenous people of the South American mainland and historically of the Greater Antilles. They were encountered by Columbus on Hispaniola and subsequently suffered a catastrophic loss of population. Arawak. Correct. And finally, a genus of pine-like coniferous plants that includes the chili pine or monkey puzzle tree. Oh, Oracaria. 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 Correct. Ten points for this. Which decisive battle took its name from a town in southern Pennsylvania, now the site of a national military park? Southampton Cable. Gettysburg. Correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on penguins, Southampton. Which species of penguin is named after that portion of Antarctica where they were first scientifically described in 1840 by the French explorer Jules Dumont d'Urville? He had named the region in honour of his wife. Daly. Daly? Yeah. Daly. Daly? Daly. Daly. Correct. Which Adélie. island group gives its name to the most northerly of penguin species with 90% of its population restricted to the islands of Fernandina and Isabella? No. No, that's the last. No. South Georgia? Is that a species of penguin? It might be. It might be. South Georgia? South Georgia penguin. No, it's the Galapagos penguin. And finally, the most numerous of all the world's penguin. Which species is distinguished by the golden yellow crest sweeping backwards over the eyes? Macaroni. Indeed, yes. Right, ten points for this. Based at the University of Washington in Seattle, the Ertwash torsion pendulum experiment is designed to examine the behaviour of what fundamental force on scales below a millimetre? Liverpool Wainwright. Gravity. Correct. <laughs> right, you get uh, bonuses, Liverpool, on infernal science. Firstly, the informal division of Precambrian time between 4.6 and 4 billion years ago and the deepest zone in the oceans both have names derived from that of which mythological underworld? Hades. Correct. 
which denizen of Hades gives his name to an effect used in quantum optics to cool trapped atoms by making them repeatedly move up a potential gradient? Cerberus? Cerberus? No. Cerberus? No, it's Sisyphus. Which transition metal with atomic number 73 takes its name from a son of Zeus who was punished in Hades? Um, tantalum. Correct. Ten points for this. What two-word term did the literary critic Frederick Boas coin initially to describe Shakespeare's plays All's Well That Ends Well, Measure for Measure and Troilus... Liverpool Wainwright. Problem Place. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Liverpool, are on opera. For each of the following, name the opera in which it appears and give the composer. Firstly, Thy Hand, Belinda, is a free-flowing recitative from which late 17th century opera based on Book Four of Virgil's Aeneid? No clue. We don't know. That's Dido and Aeneas by Purcell. Secondly, La Ci Darem La Mano, or You'll Lay Your Hand in Mine, is a duet sung by Zerlina and the title character in which 18th century opera? What? Madame Butterfly. Madame Butterfly. No, it's Don Giovanni by Mozart. And finally, first performed in 1896, in which opera does Rodolfo sing Que Gelida Manina, or Your Tiny Hand is Frozen, on first meeting Mimi? Um, Madame Butterfly by Puccini. No, that's La Boheme by Puccini. Right, we're going to take our first picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map of South Asia with eight cities highlighted for ten points Tell me their sporting significance as of 2015. Southampton Cable. Um, uh, cricket Grounds, host of the Cricket World Cup. Uh, nope. Liverpool Bretherton. Is it football teams in the new Indian Super League? No, they're home cities of the Indian Premier League, which is slightly different. So we're going to take another starter question. We'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Listen carefully for this starter question. I need a four-word answer here. A 63-clause document drafted in June 1215 and a legendary object associated with Joseph of Arimathea may be combined to form the title of which 2013 album by Jay-Z? Liverpool Bretherton. Magna Carta Holy Grail. Correct. OK, for your bonuses, you're now going to see highlighted three cities that are home to a current Indian Premier League cricket team. In each case, I want the name of the team based in that city. Firstly, the team based in the city at A. Uh, the Rajasthan Royals. No, Rajasthan's on the other side of the country. It's called the Kolkata Knight Riders. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the team based in the city at B. Um, we don't know. They're the Chennai Super Kings. And thirdly, the team based at the city at sea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no idea. They're the Delhi Daredevils. Ten points for this. Answer as soon as your name is called. What number is obtained if you multiply the number of planets in our solar system interior to the asteroid belt by the number of planets between the asteroid and Kuiper belts? Southampton Goggin. 45. Nope. Uh, Liverpool Wainwright. 16. 16, indeed, four in each case. So you get a set of bonuses now on Central Asia, Liverpool, having just taken the lead. In which country is the modern city of Mari, situated in an oasis in the Karakum Desert? It lies close to the ruined city of Merv, often identified with the settlement known as Alexandria in Magiana. Turkmenistan. Correct. Kujand is a major city in which country? It lies at the entrance to the Fagana Valley and is often identified with the ancient city known as Alexandria Eskat, or Alexandria the Furthest. Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Correct. And finally, its name often said to derive from that of Alexander. Which major city of Afghanistan is thought to occupy the city of Alexandria in Arakosia? Kandahar. 
Kandahar. Kandahar is right. Well done. Ten points for this. In 1940, what two-word term was used by Michael Foote and two other commentators writing under the pen name... Southampton Cable. Guilty men? Guilty men is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses, Southampton, are on art in the 20th century. Firstly, for five points, which art critic was the subject of a biography by Virginia Woolf published in 1940, six years after his death? Closely associated with the Bloomsbury Group, his works include the essay collections Vision and Design and Transformations. Ruskin. Ruskin. No, it's Roger Fry. Mm. Secondly, Fry is credited with coining the name of which art movement when he curated the 1910 exhibition entitled Manet and the what? Impressionism. Impressionism? Post-impressionism. Post-impressionists. Post Post-impressionists. Post Correct. In 1927, Fry published a biography of which French post-impressionist whose paintings include the bathers and the card players? Oh, oh Cézanne. Yeah. <laughs> Cézanne. Cézanne is right. Ten points for this. Which two figures of the first book of Samuel give their names to a 2013 book by the Canadian journalist Malcolm Gladwell, subtitled Underdogs, Misfits and the Art of Battling Giants? Uh, Liverpool Bennett. David and Goliath. Correct. <laughs> Liverpool, these bonuses are on words made up of a repeated string of letters, such as papa or murmur. In each case, identify the word from the definition. Firstly, an informal term for a salivary deposit on the surface of the teeth, also known as a calculus. Tata. Tata. Correct. Secondly, a member of a people of North Africa, now more commonly known as Amazig, their Al Moravid dynasty, founded the city of Marrakesh. Berber. Correct. Thirdly, a term coined by Richard Dawkins for a cultural symbol or habit passed from generation to generation, analogous to the transmission of genetic material. Meme. Correct. Ten points for this. In 2007, an astronomical doctoral thesis entitled Radial Velocities in the Zodiacal Dust Cloud was presented at Imperial College London 36 years after it was begun. Southampton Goggin. Brian May. Brian May is right, yes. Right, these bonuses are on the standard model of particle physics. First, which specific fundamental particle of the standard model has an electric charge of plus one and a mass energy of 105.7 million electron volts? Um, I think it's a stretch from proton. Mm -hmm. So it's either two up quarks and a down quark or two down quarks and that quark. Mm -hmm. Which two ups, it's two ups. Two ups for a proton. Yes. So then it's an up quark. An up quark. No, it's an anti muon. Oh. Uh, secondly, which two <laughs> particles are massless and electrically neutral? Oh, that's a photon. Photon and. Which two? Two. two? two. Massless yeah. and neutral. Gluon? Yeah. Photon and gluon. Correct. Finally, which is the only standard model particle to have zero spin? Oh, a photon has half spin. Spin. Um, go with another arm, new one, gluon. Hmm? Graviton. Graviton. No, it's the Higgs boson. Yeah, I was going to say oh, boson. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear three short excerpts from pieces of popular music. For ten points, I want the name of the now defunct record label that links the three bands you hear. Southampton Goggin. Factory Records. Yes! <laughs> OK, Southampton, you're on level pegging now. For each of your music bonuses, you're going to hear three bands or artists, and, again, I need the name of the record label that links them. Firstly, for five, what label links the following? It began as an independent label, but is now a subsidiary of Universal Music Group. With a pop, race yourself as a ride on top. Close your eyes as you ride, right out your side. Oh, my 
going to have to get something. Though. Beastie oh. Boy Records. No, one of the tracks there was yeah, by the Beastie know, Boys, but it's Def Jam was the uh, label. Oh, okay. Secondly, what label links these bands? It's just Texas, it makes me dizzy, dizzy, Island okay. Records. No, it's 4AD. And finally, what label links these artists? You can't keep nothing from me Cos I know what I've seen no, now I'm not talking about it. Oh, just... <laughs> okay. OK, so what's Simon Cowell's record label for? Oh, it's a bit soft as well. No, they're not all the ones anymore. Oh, OK. What's his label? It's Simon Cowell's no label. This is labelled for Psycho. Yes! Okay. Psycho! Well done! Yeah. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What single word title of French origin is shared by Beethoven's Piano Sonata No. 8 in C minor and Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony? Liverpool uh, Wainwright. Pathetic. Correct. You retake the lead and your bonuses are on Reapers, Liverpool. A cultivar of Capsicum chinensi, Carolina Reaper, is a variety of what culinary vegetable? On the Scoville scale, it has an average of more than 1.5 million units, which is an exceptionally high rating. Chilli pepper. Correct. Referring to a revolt that began in 1640, the song El Segadores, or The Reapers, was adopted in 1993 as the national anthem of which European region? Basque. Basque country? No, it's Catalonia. Yeah. Only reapers reaping early in among the bearded barley hear the song of the title character in the 1842 version of which poem? No, we don't know. It's the Lady of Shalott. Right, ten points for this. The preface to which philosophical work on human autonomy states that it seeks the solution to the question regarding the possibility or impossibility of metaphysics. It was written in German and first published in 1781. Southampton Goggin. Critique of reason. Yes, I'll accept that. It's the critique of pure reason. You've got the, you've got the right publication. <laughs> So that gives you level pegging and a set of bonuses on French photographers. The Europeans and the Face of Asia are collections by which French photographer who died in 2004, age 95? Cartier Bristol? It, it, He's a it, French photographer. Is he that late, though? No, but he, I think he died a long time before that. Name another right. French photographer. God, all I can think of is Bresson now. Cartier Bresson. Correct. Oh. What pseudonym was adopted by Gaspard Félix Tournachon? Noted both for his photographic portraits of prominent 19th century French figures and for his early aerial photography. Is it Man Ray? No. Maybe. Man Ray. No, it's Felix Nadar. And finally, Le Baisse de l'Hôtel de Ville, or The Kiss by the Town Hall, is a work by which 20th century Parisian photographer? <sighs> I'm. <sighs> I do know it. No. No. It's by Robert Duano. Ten points for this. Aoraki, the highest peak in New Zealand's Southern Alps, is also known by... Liverpool Bennett. Mount Cook. Mount Cook is correct, yes. So you retake the lead, Liverpool, and your bonuses are on cell biology. What inorganic compound is produced by the parietal cells of the gastric epithelium? Hydrochloric acid. Correct. The hormone gastrin stimulates parietal cells to produce hydrochloric acid. What cells secrete gastrin? We don't know. They're G-cells. Which nerve controls the release of gastrin by G-cells? Vagal. 
vagal nerve? Yes, the vagus or the tenth cranial nerve. So we're going to take a picture round now. So fingers on the buzzers. Here's your picture starter. You're going to see a photograph of an author whose major works were in English, despite this not being his mother tongue. Ten points if you can give me the author's name and first language. Liverpool Bennett. Joseph Conrad, Ukrainian. Anyone I'd like to buzz from Southampton? Southampton Goggin. Chekhov and Russian? No, it's Joseph Conrad and Polish. That was his first language. So, picture bonuses in a moment or two. In the meantime, here's another starter question. Figures on the buzzers, please. Taking its name from a genus of free-floating seaweed, which area of the North Atlantic is often cited as being the only sea... Ah. Liverpool Bennett. Sargasso. Yes, well done. <laughs> so, you get uh, three more photographs of authors who wrote works in the English language but whose mother tongue was not English. In each case, I want the name of the author and their first language. Firstly... We don't know. That's Nabokov, uh, whose first language was Russian. Secondly, who's this? We don't know again. That's Chinua Achebe, his first language was Igbo. And finally... Um. Roald Dahl and Norwegian. Correct. <laughs> right, another starter question now. Which ancient region of Mesopotamia has a name that, when read backwards, forms the name of one of the legendary brothers associated with the founding of Rome? Uh, Liverpool Wainwright. Sumer. Sumer is correct, yes. <laughs> so this set of bonuses, Liverpool, are on winners of the BAFTA Award for the Outstanding British Film of the Year. In each case, name the film from the description. Firstly, the 2007 winner, a drama based on a novel by Giles Foden. It stars Forrest Whitaker and James McAvoy. The Last King of Scotland. Correct. Secondly, the 2009 winner, a documentary by James Marsh, based on Philip Petit's book, To Reach the Clouds, it recalls an event in 1974 around the Twin Towers of the World Trade Centre. Man on Wire. Correct. And lastly, the 2012 winner, an espionage film based on a novel by John le Carre and starring Gary Oldman as George Smiley. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Correct. Ten points for this. What part of the small intestine derives its name from the Latin for fasting because it was usually found empty during dissection? It lies between the duodenum and the ileum. Uh, Liverpool Bennett. To Jeunum. Correct. A set of bonuses this time for you, Liverpool, on the later Roman Republic. Firstly, for five points, elected consul an unprecedented seven times, which Roman general defeated Germanic tribes at the battles of Aquae Sextiae and Vercellae in 102 and 101 BC? We don't know. It's Gaius Marius. Secondly, having defeated Mithridates of Pontus, which commander marched his army on Rome and became dictator in 82 BC? After reforming the constitution, he retired into private life. I feel like I should know this. No, we don't know. That was Lucius Cornelius Sulla. And finally, who defeated the Gauls at the Battle of Alesia? He was proclaimed dictator for life in 44 BC, the year of his death. Julius Caesar. Correct. Three and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. What four-letter acronym came to prominence after the US sociologist E. Digby Baltzell used it in the tables for his 1964 book, The Protestant Establishment, Aristocracy and Past... Uh, Liverpool Wainwright. Wasp. Wasp is correct. <laughs> this set of bonuses is on astronomy, Liverpool. On approaching the sun, comets may develop visible tails that generally fall into two types. What term denotes a tail that tends to be straight and bluish in colour? Arrow? No, it's an ion tail. What type of tail tends to be yellowish and is often curved? We don't know. That's a dust tail. And finally, what two-word term describes the phenomenon predicted by the German astronomer Ludwig Biermann in 1951 to account for the rapid acceleration observed in ion or plasma tails? <sighs> no idea again. That's solar wind. Ten points for this. Give any of the three years in which W.B. Yeats Vladislav Raymond and George Bernard Shaw were successive recipients of the Nobel Prize. Southampton Goggin. 1924. 
Correct. 23 and 25 are the other two. You're going to see the bonuses on show caves. That is, cave complexes open to the public, Southampton. Dano Rogoff, also known as the National Show Caves Centre for Wales, lies within the boundary of which national park? Snowdon. No. Um, Brecon Beacons. Yeah. Brecon Beacons. Correct. Named after a natural formation, the Marble Arch Cave lies to the southeast of Enniskillen in which county? Fermanagh. Correct. In which English county are the Treak Cliff Cavern and the Blue John Caverns, the latter named after a semi precious mineral? Yorkshire. Yorkshire. No, it's Derbyshire. Ten points for this. Listen carefully. The elementary charge or charge of the proton has a value in coulombs approximately equal to 1.6 times 10 raised to what exponent? Southampton stock. So minus 19. Correct. You get a set of bonuses this time on currencies of South America. In each case, name both the currency and the country in which it's used. Firstly, which major world currency replaced the Sucre in 2000 following a major financial crisis? Yeah. Argentina, but... No, no, no. Come on. Peso in Argentina. No, it was the US dollar in Ecuador. Co-official with Spanish in the country concerned, which indigenous language shares its name with the country's currency? <laughs> no. Come on. Let's Peso have... again. No. no, it's the Guarani in Paraguay. And finally, born 1783, which independence leader gives his name to a South American currency? Bolivar. In... Bolivia. Bolivia. No, it's Come in on. Venezuela. Venezuela, sorry. Bad luck. Ten points for this. Which animal features in a crowned form on the coat of arms of Austria in a two-headed form on the flag of Albania? Southampton Cable. Eagle. Double Correct. Eagle. You get a set of bonuses now on US states in literature, Southampton. First published in 1936, Margaret Mitchell's Gone with the Wind is set largely in her native Atlanta and Clayton County in which US state? Georgia. Georgia. Correct. In Solomon Northup's 1853 memoir, Twelve Years a Slave, the writer recounts his period of servitude on plantations in which US state? Oh. It's Louisiana, but you weren't there in time, Southampton, I'm afraid. Who knows, if we got on another few minutes, you might have overtaken them. But we're going to have to say goodbye to you. But thank you very much. You've been a nice team to have with us. Thank you. Liverpool, many congratulations to you. We'll look forward to seeing you in the quarterfinals which go on and on and on. <laughs> You'll enjoy them. I hope you can join us next time for another second round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Southampton University. Bye. It's goodbye from Liverpool University. Bye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>